Come in. Yes, what do you need? Goodbye. Have you come to protest the mission as well? The news has spread to every village. It's on every tongue. We are so close. St. Odwigs cannot resist much longer. And once it relents, all others will follow in its wake. The tome will be ours. Father Dinwell is denying that women can be ordained as members of the Order of Mitharu, despite scripture to the contrary. I know that they've got the proof in their reliquary, an ancient ordination tome, but they've never let me close enough to get a glance. All are welcome into Matharu's embrace. Ha! The hypocrites! Don't commit any crimes on my account. Of course, if Matharu compels you to see justice done, then I won't stand in your way. The Brothers of St. Odwig's perpetual mission keep the valuable tome in their reliquary, but no one outside the Order is allowed a glimpse. Mitharu, you found the ordination tome. I'd give a sack of gold to see the look on Father Dinwell's face. He will no longer be able to deny my entrance to the order. Mitharu does embrace all. Thank you. I won't need any gold as a servant of Mitharu. 
Take what I have. It's yours. I will remember you in my prayers. Please help me. Other two legs are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cursed. A pack of two legs gave me this name, but they would not give me help. They hit me and drove me away just for eating their tasty meat birds. But what did I do wrong? I was cursed by three sprites who were bored. Had I fang and claws, I would shred them like meat birds. My brothers and sisters think me but another two legs now, and will not suffer my approach. I am without a pack. But it is worse than that. Your two-leg life is unbearable, like these strange things called pants. How do you tolerate them? Hunters like me, two legs. Their blades are their teeth, and they fight for their kin until the, the last breath. It is good for the hunt, this wood of smell and shadow. As a two legs, I cannot stalk, cannot pray. The bloodlust. <laughs> this is agony. You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf. Cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. I still have wolf thoughts in my head, but two-leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch dumb meat birds. I must be changed back. The sprites are near. Even now I smell them, but I cannot fight in this form. Will you help, two legs? Thank you, two legs. But the task will not be easy. I need water from a magic well, guarded by the sprites that cursed me. Be warned, the sprites have much magic, for the well they guard is older than this wood, and from that they draw their power.
the sprites guard the well, which is near the river to the north. <sighs> Beware them. They have much magic. Their pack is small, but they are each powerful. <sighs> they came to this forest not long ago, drawn by the magic of the, the well. Were I a wolf, they could not best me. But as two legs, I am clumsy and weak. Be careful. This is a black pole. Old when the mighty trees were saplings. It used to wander throughout this corner of the wood until the sprites ensnared it. Return swiftly. Oh. I thought only the Warsworn used the Yolven Road. Penry Kell's my name, traveler by vocation. I have no trade, but I do have a job for one like yourself. Interested? Most travelers have qualms about dealing with the fair folk. Harder to read than a human, and fewer many pockets to pick. These ballads fay. They are not only rich in lore. I've heard snippets of a ballad, and a beautiful ruby ring. And I need someone to help me get it. Huh, never met a traveler before, have you? We may look humble, but our purses are always full. You can find a lot of coin if you know where to look, and when. The ballad is called Ring and Reprisal. I know little about it, but if we reenact the ballad step by step, the ring should come to us. In the story, a maiden asks a champion to reclaim a ring stolen by a troll. It's a few years too late, but I'll play the role of the maiden. <laughs> you be the champion. First, you must prove your prowess by hunting wild antelope and bring back something to lure the troll. It is the crossroads of the southern and eastern routes. It is also a haven for those wishing to escape the horrors of Webwood. To the west lies Gorehart Village. To the north is the House of Ballads. I've traveled Webwood many times, but that was before the recent unpleasantness. Spiders have overtaken the forest. It is best avoided. Who knows? You'd have better luck getting an answer from one of these damn fae. But it's what the ballad calls for. You can find an antelope nearby. Bring them down and get proof of your kills. We'll need them later on. It is the story of a maiden who lost her ring to a greedy troll. A young knight, wishing to be her champion, offered to reclaim it. The champion killed Antelope and used the carcass as bait. When the troll came to feed, the knight killed the troll and returned the ring to the maiden. The ballads of these fae repeat naturally, but if we reprise it now, we can force the troll and the ring to appear again. It's the way these fae work. None are safe from its wilting touch, not even the travelers. Like everyone, Armalore, our fate is in the cards. Anyone who labors to defy nature is a fool. The Warsworn built that keep to stand for all time. But it will fall, like all the others. They should heed the lesson of Castle Yolven. If magic wishes to reclaim what's rightfully hers, she will do it. <laughs> 